Axel? Huh? Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. Mm hmm. So, you gonna try yours on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe later. But you always wear the same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is how you pick me out of a crowd. I make myself easy to remember. How thoughtful. <laughs> oh, nah, not really. <laughs> Our training's almost finished. Yeah. Somewhere inside me is Namine. If we can free Roxas, we can free her too. I guess so. Namine was made when Sora freed me from his heart. So, now that she's a part of me again, I figured all was right. But she can't look at this forest. Feel the wind on her face. None of it. And if she could, it would be different for her. Her time was short. But she lived it, and that makes it hers. What right did I have to take those feelings and experiences back? They don't belong to me. Nothing's as it should be. Not for her or Roxas. I know. Way back when I was a kid, I met this other weird kid. Somehow we became fast friends. Never saw him again, nearly forgot about him too. Then I met Roxas. Couldn't believe it. The two of them were identical. Oh, I didn't tell Roxas. Didn't want him to go vanishing on me too. The kid's name was Ventus. He's one of the lost Keyblade wielders we're looking for. Think he's still got me memorized? Oh yeah, very memorized. <laughs> now that we're going back, I'm worried about everything. Well, you don't have to worry alone anymore, Axel. It's about time! Uh, hey, uh, shut uh, it! Uh, oh, come on!
What now? Please, I have created enough victims. Yes, you have. All of the children sacrificed in the name of your research. So make things right. I told you I did not take her. Her disappearance was why I put a stop to the research. And that makes you honorable? You used Roxas and Namine and threw them away. I doubt there's a merciful bone in your body. You took the girl and hid her. Now show me the data you are hiding here. Roxas and Namine. If there is any reason that I still draw breath, it is to atone for what I did to them. <gasps> he said Roxas. Yeah. That man needs us. Right. Yeah. If you do find the girl, what is it that you expect will happen? The child's memory holds a mystery to unravel. One concerning the battle we seek between light and darkness. You know something, and that is why you stop the experiments. You are completely deluded, Xehanort. We shall soon see. <clears throat> yoo <-hoo! clears throat> uh, uh. Excuse me! Who are you? Oh, well, I'm looking for a friend who used to live here. No one lives mm. here. Be gone! Um, but, sir... No, 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 not one more step! Get out! Uh, this mm. way! Oh. Uh. Hey, loser! The squiggly things? They protected me. Uh, Hainer, get a move on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I serve the organization. This is treason. <laughs> I see what is happening. Have it your way then. Nobody knows the twists and turns of Twilight Town better than us. You are Roxas's friends. That's right. So you know him too? Oh yes, quite well. Pay dirt. Guess it was worth staking out the old mansion after all, because this guy here is what I call a lead. That's the only proof we have that Roxas was our friend. Tell us about him. We want to know him better. My dear master, <laughs> you are safe. Who's there? Evan, is that you? So, those nobodies were your doing.
I have been waiting for this. Gave up a normal life in order to plant myself in the organization. And when I heard Xehanort had gone looking for you, I realized it was my chance to find you as well. For you see, I too wish to atone. Mm. 